Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of tutorials on Python for beginners. In previous lecture, we discussed about numbers in Python, and now we are going to discuss about strings in Python. So let us start. We can express strings like this in double quotes. So create a, a string Python programming, and then you can print it like this, or you can use single quotes. So using single or double quote that all depends on you whatever you want to do but sometimes it is uh, necessary to use single or double quotes depending on the situation let us take one other string maybe st1 and we want to write Gandhi's birthday in this case you cannot write this string inside single quotes and what is the reason behind that you have single quote in between the string and that's why this is interpreted as starting from here this place and ending at this place so it is better if you put double quotes in the beginning and double quote at the end of the string other than this you can represent multi-line strings like this using these three double quotes or three single quotes whatever you want to do so let me show you how can you do and uh, take a variable multi now you have this string as a multi-line string try to output this string and see what happens can you see one thing you have slash n at every places so how is it coming is it it is because multi-line string is taking slash n from this place this place this place and this place so how can you do or remove these things i will show this in single quotes and everything will be similar so just take it like this or rename this to multi line so what you have to do you have to put slash at the end and after this all these characters will be ignored so now let us check this and now you can see python programming is amazing and i would love to learn this all right so this is how you can represent this string other than this you can concatenate multiple strings suppose you have one string pi and another is than so you can concatenate these using plus sign and if you want to repeat a string let us suppose you want to repeat a string three times so you have to multiply that string with three and now see the answer All right so these uh, two things are also important sometimes uh, now you have another thing and you can just write two strings one after other and you can concatenate them like this right so so now you can see these are concatenated but this is only possible for the literals if you want to concatenate one variable and another literal then it is not possible and you can see there is some error so you can only remove this error by making this a uh, string literal and now it is fine a string indexing is also available in python so if you have python as a string so this indexing start from 0 then goes 1 2 3 4 and 5 so p is at 0th index and n is at 5th index so if you want to check this maybe i will take a string variable st1 and then I will show you 0 is p and st5 is n then there is a function which checks length of a string and here is the length of a string st1 right one thing that is different in python from other programming languages is that uh, here we have negative indexing also so when you are writing this st1 and python maybe I would like to maybe I would like to write uh, st2 here so in case of python n is at minus 1 index o is at minus 2 index and so on up to minus 1 2 3 4 minus 5 and minus 6 so let us try taking out some of the characters out of it so when you are doing minus 1 then n is getting out of it and if you check minus 5 or minus 6 
then p will come out of it so this is how indexing is done in python other than this one thing is slicing and how can you do slicing if you, there is a, a string called python then it has a syntax that there is a start index there is a stop index and there is a step i will comment this and then tell you about this so when we are talking about start start means this is the starting index of the string when we are talking about stop this is stopping means at which place we have to stop suppose i want to do like this 0 5 and then 1 it means we have to start with 0 stop at fifth index that means we have to exclude this index so this means 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 it will not print n and there is a step of 1 that means it has to print everything so pytho is printed now if you want to uh, get a gap of 2 then you have to use step 2 now let us see what should be the answer p t and then o right this is how slicing works in python right so all these things are important and you will work with them i want to tell you one more thing you have word and maybe i want to replace p with m so you might think that we can do like this and it should work but let us see there is some um, error a string object does not support item assignment so a string is immutable in python and you cannot assign something like this so what can be done you can create a new word maybe word one then take m and concatenate words from this or concatenate rest of the string from this so what you have to do you have to start with one right and leave everything as it is so what should be the word now it should be python and how it is possible you have started with one but we have not given any stop or step index right so when you are not providing any stop and step index that means by default it should be length of the string whatever string that is and then step should be by default one right but i am not using this right okay so one more thing we have word which is python so try to access some index which is out of range so how will you check whether i index it out of range so i will check length of this word and add one to it right so length of word is six or you can just give it length of word and this would be 0 1 2 3 4 5 and then 6 it is out of index and now see the output string index out of range so it is not going to handle this you have to give something which is inside that index or inside that range so it should be minus 1 so let us try to use slicing option starting from 0 and then ending till word or maybe you can add plus 10 here and then step of 1 so just think about it whether it is going to give us an error or it will be uh, running fine so just think about it and i will show the answer now you can see answer is python and it has not given any error to us that means when we are using slicing this is handled very carefully and python handles this for us so in this case whether you give length of the word or you add something else to it maybe 200 which is out of index of course but still it is handled very carefully by python right so i think this is enough introduction of the strings for this tutorial we'll keep discussing these things in coming lectures but uh, till now i think it is fine so see you in the next video with some new concept. Till then, thank you so much.